up guys so we're headed to the adirondacks this weekend to do a little bit of brook trout fishing um we've got our canoes packed up and all of our gear um we're gonna go be going to uh, the same place i did for my last brook trout video but we're gonna be launching in a different area so it's gonna be a little bit of a different like hike in but it's gonna be the same type of fishing going for brookies splake and lake trout i think are in here and last time we caught some rainbow so we'll see if we get some of those i'm gonna be using lake clear wobblers propellas um and I brought some fly gear. Uh, and I'll show you guys all the lures as we go, but we are about an hour away from our launch, and then we're gonna pack in and get set up for the night, and then a whole day of fishing tomorrow, then half a day of fishing on Sunday, so hopefully we catch some fish, and I'll keep you guys updated. Made it to our pond and we're just going to find our campsite now. The loons are going nuts. just got to our campsite. Uh, we actually ended up staying at the same campsite we stayed at last time because the campsite we actually wanted was taken, but that's okay because this spot's really nice. It's our campsite. It's all of our gear over there. We have a pretty nice view. Saw some loons on the way in, saw some mergansers, fish feeding, saw a ton of wild. Oh, Derek or Brookie just jumped right there. There's another Brookie, <laughs> or I'm assuming it's a Brookie. But yeah, so we're gonna set up our tent, eat some food, and do some fishing in the morning. Okay, so we just got up. We went up for a little bit, but this is our campsite. We got our canoes here, and then come over here. We got our fire going. Gonna make some breakfast. And there is our tent, and those are our camp chairs. I don't know where the tops of them are, though. We have some fishing gear over there. And yeah, that's about it. There's Derek. There's the 360. Oh, he's so cool. So this is the fish I just caught. Not far off shore. So I don't know if you can see it, right there. That is a huge snapping turtle. That is so cool. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of an update since the wind calmed down. 
Um, so I just saw a huge snapping turtle. I'm gonna add that video. That was really cool. I could, the water's so clear. I could see it sitting on the bottom. I caught one rookie um, right away, and then Derek caught a splake, which was really nice. Uh, I don't think I got very good video of the splake though. But yeah, so it's um, almost noonish, but we're gonna fish the other side of the lake, and then uh, probably we'll get some lunch and then fish tonight. So there's a lot of fishing. Hopefully, get some more. But I'm um, pretty happy to be on the board, so let's see if we catch some more fish. Okay, so we just got back to our campsite. Um, it's about noon now. We fished for like three and a half hours, I think. Right, Derek? Yep. Yeah, about three and a half hours, um, and we caught like three fish. So it was like a fish an hour, which isn't amazing. But the wind has been picking up, so it's been making it a little difficult to troll. So we're going to stay here and eat some. We got some sausages cooking and some peppers. And then I think we're gonna go for a little hike, um, like behind our campsite kind of thing, and then uh, try to fish tonight, like when we come back, because hopefully the wind dies down by then. But I mean, we're on the board, we got three fish in the boat, so yeah, I mean, it could be worse. Life is good. We're good? Mm -hmm. Nice one on, Derek. Got a nice one on here. I don't know. If it is, it's a big brookie. Splaker. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure we're gonna go with Splake. He's beautiful. So basically when you um, like fish for these, like what I'm doing right now, I'm trolling. I have a, a rod holder here. And then I just have it off the edge and you just want to get a nice like, you just want the rod to tick. You want to go troll. You want to troll like as slow as you possibly can just for that rod just to tick just a little bit because the wobbler is, well it wobbles like it says and it goes through the wa water. So if you go too fast it's going to like spin and then it like ruins your line and everything so you want to go nice and slow and you're basically just trying to get it to flash because like they're so shiny that they'll get the um, sunlight and it'll flash and the fish will be attracted to that and then they'll come up and see the worm and hit it and that's kind of the whole basis of like using a lake clear wobbler. Um, in these lakes you can troll other things too like we were trolling rappels and didn't really have much luck with them um, and if you don't have worms you can tip the um, lake clear wobbler set up with like a fly like a olive green woolly booger works um, and like different kind of flies like that little streamers and they'll usually hit that too but I usually go with the worms because um, it, it's productive you just slowly troll it's really helpful if there's no wind so you can control your speed you just want to go real slow and then you just watch it and then the rod it'll bend and it's either a log or a fish <laughs> usually you can tell but and you just go real slow and yeah, that's the basis of how you do this. This one's a little brookie. Oh, jeez, Louise. Feisty little thing. So this might be a little splake too though because he's got the forked tail. So crazy. I wonder if there's just something as shallow as a shallow. I'm assuming. 
assuming so because the water's warming, so they're gonna be chasing like the bait fish that are going up to the shallows. So we're back at camp now uh, making some dinner and uh, we caught three splake uh, when we just went out and I think that the fish that I caught this morning was a splake as well. I think they've all been splake because they have like the fork in the tail but I'm not like 100% positive. Um, so there's that and then I think we're gonna eat some dinner and then we're gonna head back out um, to the lake and try to catch some more fish. We found like a little cove that um, the fishing has been really good at. So I might try to do some fly fishing and see if there's some fish feeding on dry eyes and stuff like that and hopefully break out the fly rod. Uh, so yeah, eat some dinner and get back out there. This is our uh, camp dinner. We got some chicken thighs, some potatoes and some broccoli. Chef Derek cooking all the meals. A lot of aluminum foil. <laughs> Like Peyton's got one on. Oh yeah. Recording me. My sorrow. So, I just lost one. A nice one. Um, we're gonna try again. It's funny too because I thought to myself when we went by those logs, I'm like, there's got to be a fish sitting in there. There was. What could be that? She's really there. So we are back at camp now, um, got a fire going. We went out right before like dark and we both hooked into one and we both lost them, but that's okay. We saw a, like a beaver when we were out there, osprey, what did we see, mergansers, loons. So much wildlife was moving around tonight. What did you say? Kingfishers. Kingfishers. Uh, a little bit of everything so all our fishing gear is ready to go so i think we're gonna try to wake up early and get back out there and go to the same spot because there's been fish feeding um the biggest thing with this kind of fishing is you just have to cover ground basically if you cover ground you're gonna catch fish so yeah we have tomorrow morning and then we're gonna head out probably around like 11 or so noon um then head home so yeah hopefully get some more fish tomorrow Hey guys, so we just got on the water this morning, um, just woke up, headed out, it's the first thing, and uh, we're gonna troll and see if we can catch some more of trout and splink, so let's see if we get any.
You gave up. Okay, guys, so we finally packed up um, and we are ready to go. So we got the canoes packed. We're just gonna head back and start heading home. Probably stop at one of our favorite breweries on the way. And yeah, it was a good trip. We caught a bunch of fish. Um, I mean, there's, could always catch more, but uh, the black flies were kind of bad. I mean, I got bit like all over, um, but that's okay. Uh, we gotta bring more bug spray next time. But yeah, it was an awesome trip and I'm so glad we came out here. It was kind of a spur of the moment thing. Um, there's no better place in the world, so. What's up guys? So we're headed home now. The weather was amazing for mid-May. Uh, it could have been a lot worse. We ran into some thunderstorms like as we were leaving, but nothing terrible. So all in all, it was an amazing weekend and we'll probably go back in a couple months, probably. Uh, maybe earlier. I would go there every weekend if I could. But yeah, uh, if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, all that kind of stuff helps. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video.